How to use transitions. Modify overlap and cross transitions. Hi, here's a project I'm working on. I'm going to insert a fade transition between two clips. Selecting modify allows me to choose or change a transition behavior to either overlap or cross. Both transition types will be in my project. Here I kept the default overlap transition. I'll do my best to explain the differences between both types of transition effects. Overlap transition effect is where parts of the two clips play over each other. Cross transition is a bridging effect and can start and finish at unequal points on either clip. Okay, a quick change for the transition. Select modify and then opt for cross. There are a wide range of transitions to look at. Click and play them. Hey, how about trying one out? <laughs> of course you want to check out the burning transition. All I do is click and drag the transition between two clips. Position the slider, then click on play in preview to see what happens with the transition effect. Easy. Preferences, alterations and choices. In preferences, I make a few changes altering the default from overlap to cross and altering the default transition length from 2 seconds to 1 second. I prefer shorter transitions in my movies. Click OK to confirm the changes. Check on the white down transition. <laughs> Looks good. I want to alter the transition duration. I place my cursor on the edge of the transition and expand. See the duration details change in the dialog box. Play the transition and we've slowed the movement by expanding the duration time. Excellent. Add to favourites. In the all contents, under favourites, I have only three listed. Let's add a few more. Select and right click on the transition and choose Add to Favourites. That's easy now. How to add from favourites. Adding a transition to all can be done with photos, videos or a mixture of both. I prefer to use the Add to all with photos. Ok, let's get started. Highlight a transition. Three button choices are offered above the video track. Random, Fade and Random Audio. I selected the cross transition and, as you can see, a transition is added between each photo in the track. All these transitions have come from my favourites. Repeating the actions, but this time I selected overlap. Notice the project length shrinks on the track as each clip is overlapped by the transition selected. Let me show you how the overlap transition merges the photos. Post and prefix placements. We had a prefix transition at the beginning of a track and a post transition is placed at the end. Random or a fade, I can select either. <laughs> Now let me show you the effect of both post and prefix placements. The slider moves from one transition, view in a photo, and then to the fade out of the post fix. Super. Now see how the prefix fade in works. Excellent. Add in an audio transition. That's something new in PD10. Click on the apply audio effect button. Audio transitions have an overlap behaviour. That was easy. The audio effect has added a fade transition to the video as well by default. Audio track fade. In my movies I like to add a descriptive narrative. I try and align each audio. When they abut or stand alone they need a fade effect. Switching choices is a simple drag and drop procedure. Constant gain or constant power are the two audio fade transitions. 
I add it using a mixture of overlap and cross transitions, making the most out of both. My preferred transition is fade, as it smoothly flows the video together. PowerDirector 10 provides a huge choice of transitions to select from. We each have our own style. Enjoy your editing, it is fun.